<laughs> Race bike. Welcome back to the Auto Alex channel and welcome to another installment of motorbikes. Today is a very, very special day because Gareth and I are fulfilling a girlhood dream because we <laughs> are going to the Isle of Man, Man TT. TT. We are starting off at Jubilee Tower, which is somewhere in Lancashire. We are then riding over to Haitian Ports and then we're going to get a four hour ferry across to the Isle of Man. We were invited by Honda, so we thought, why not buy TT bikes of our own so, without further ado, these are our bikes. This is the first generation of 1,000 Fireblades, so CBR1000RR. And to make it even more cool was the generation to come with the under seat, warm your nuts up, exhaust. So it's very big, very brash, very fast. What's the power on this? Uh, in and around 170 brake. It has a power commander piggyback ECU in the back, so it could be making a little bit more. Oh, it's really old and could be making a bit less. So 2004, yep. and I paid, take a guess, four grand? Not quite, 3.3K for this on Ooh. Facebook Marketplace. A really good bike. I have had to put new tires on, so tires courtesy of Michelin, Power Cup 2s. Electronic steering damper, bit weird at low speeds. They're not very but, nice, are they? But when you get going, it's all right. The exhaust, Akrapovic Titanium okay. slip-on. Here goes. Oh. Yeah? Sound purchase, right? It sounds like a proper bike. <laughs> it sounds like the bikes that the TT racers are actually riding on right now. Potentially. Unlike my motorcycle, which sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Tell I have done it. the opposite to you, guys. Yep. I have gone for small, lightweight, classy, and old. This is the me of the motorbike world. It's about 165 kilos. It is the very iconic Honda VFR 400. NC30. So the main thing that makes this bike iconic is living under this beautiful aluminium frame. Yeah, what so we've, we got, got, we've got a twin beam aluminium frame here. Underneath that is a V4 engine. All right. Mini Moto GP. 400 uh, cc, making 60 horsepower like or just it. under. It is iconic. I love the looks of it. It handles really well. It's lightweight. And it's just for me, a perfect little nimble bike that I can just wobble about on the TT and try and keep up with you through the corners. Obviously I'm... not in the straights. It's a great feeling being able to flat foot on a motorbike for the first time. Also, you may notice that the rear shock is not shocky anymore. It's just, it's just there, it's just chilling, but it's old and it's buggered. It makes a great noise. It's got loads of mid-range torque. And as Gareth has got a brand new set of Michelin tires, I do too, because the tires that I had were about 10 years old. I bought this bike for 4.5k. Yeah? Incorrect. 3,700 pounds. 3,700 yeah. pounds. The lady wanted 4,200 pounds and I got her down. So thank you very much. And the reason that I knew that this bike was the one for me is because as soon as I got on top of it to take it for a test ride, she, she cried. She's had it for 10 years and she loves the bike. Ah. And as soon as she cried, I knew I was having it. Not in a, like an evil way, but in a way that I knew that but she this, looked after it and loved it. This bike has a story. And when I told her that I was going to be taking it to the Isle of Man TT, she was very, very happy. So there you go. Now start up my vacuum cleaner. It's, on a it's, button. It started, actually. That's it, started. Well, give it a few revs. Come on, don't be shy. Well, I don't know. I've got to keep the choke open a bit. Also, this bike revs to 14,500 RPM. <laughs> Yeah? What I don't love is the fact that there is no fuel gauge. Because race bike. Because race bike, indeed. I think you do get 20 miles on the reserve tank. So around this side is a, a wee lever. So if you feel it cut out yeah. or cutting out, turn it the other way and it gives you another 
20 miles out of the same tank. It's just on a different level. I would like to say it's as old as me, but I'm actually quite considerably older. Probably the same age as you, Rory. Where's it, mate? 93. Oh yeah, that is my... That is you! Yeah. You're, You're a J-Reg. You're as old as this bike. Yeah. What? Excellent. And this bike has held up a lot better than you, Rory. You look like shit compared to this. So let's helm it up and head out. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Let's go to the van. We didn't take a van here. We, we rode up. Ah. We rode all the way. So not this van. No, that, that van doesn't exist. No, Rory. Why are you following Rory? the van? Don't close your eyes. Wait until the night is over. I'll show you paradise. But hang on just a little. about an hour into our trip. It takes four hours to actually get across. Who, who would have thought it? The, the, the ch channel? This the, is the Bristol channel, right? We have ridden our bikes for about, what, half an hour from where we did the intro. Thoughts on yours? Fast. It's very fast, handles really well. Um, the weird brake juddering's gone. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's because I was holding the speed limit. As per usual. As per usual. Anyway, anyway good my, bike. <laughs> my, little, uh, my little VFR is great. I'm really getting my eye in. I can really just lean on it more. So the cornering on that is great. And those Michelin tires, as with yours, are yeah, phenomenal yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. They're scrubbed in now, so I'm a lot more confident. And I'm really looking forward to getting over to the Isle of Man, seeing the TT and doing some riding of our own. But we're gonna go have some lunch and um, enjoy the spotless sky. After finally landing on the Isle of Man, we threw our leg over once more and headed straight to the hotel for the night, ready for tomorrow's epic adventure. Right then, so the plan for today is we are here in Douglas. We're gonna ride down here to the Sound Cafe because I've heard that's, good. that's a bit of a mecca for bikes. And then we were gonna head back to Douglas and we're gonna go back to the paddocks today. Okay. We're gonna get the Honda guys to look over our bikes, which is very, very exciting because after that, we're then gonna go to the mountain. The de-restricted mountain. I'm really glad the Honda guys are looking over our bikes <laughs> indeed, just indeed. before the de-restricted region. Then when we've done that, we're going to head up to the point of air. Hopefully we can hit that at sunset because that'll be a really, really nice way to finish. So we will pretty much be able to see most of the island, granted, on the east side of it. And by the end of that, we should know our bikes pretty much inside and out. Sound good? Sounds brilliant. Should we fold this map away and get cracking? I think that's a really good idea. Yeah, because it's uh, morning and it's warm Indeed. already. It's really hot already. So uh, yeah, let's do exactly that and crack on. While Gareth and I are enjoying our bikes on the Isle of Man, a quick reminder from me that if you want to buy yourself a used car like this or a used bike like that, <laughs> then make sure you run a car vertical report on it first to make sure it's not been crashed, stolen or clocked. If we take my beloved 944 as an example, I have run a car vertical report on that and as you can see we've got green ticks for theft, mileage, finance and damage that means that this one is a good one. It's also going to be up for sale soon because I'm trading up hopefully to a 993 so yeah DM me. For an example of a report that gives me cause for concern, check out this 4 series that has an amber warning light for theft and damage, green ticks for mileage and finance, and if we scroll down we can see that this poor blue 4 series has had quite a heavy impact on the front end, but it doesn't look like it's too, too bad. It also is stolen, so if we click on show more, currently wanted as stolen in the United Kingdom, if we scroll down, we can keep on going, the odometer looks okay, the mileage report doesn't look too bad, doesn't give me too much cause for concern. And then in the damage as well, underneath it says this vehicle was damaged 
two times and it is a Cat S insurance write-off. So if you see this car on Facebook Marketplace as a pristine car, then you know that it's been damaged twice and it's probably one to avoid. So then again, if you're looking to buy yourself a used car or bike, make sure you run a car vertical report on it first. What's more, you will get 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. Isn't that right, Maisie? Beautiful, beautiful weather, fantastic morning. And I keep on forgetting if I'm in race shift <laughs> or street shift. <laughs> You've been riding too many of my bikes. I think why. I have. But anyone who doesn't really know much about the Isle of Man TT, it is a, what is it, like a, a whole week or a two week takeover where um, the world's best riders and <laughs> the, the riders with the biggest balls come and set, you know, their times on the 37 mile route. And a lot of the guys, they do, what is it, an average speed of like over 130 miles an hour. That is an average speed. And that's going through villages, tight turns. And this is this is roads literally like the one we're on now. I don't yes. know if the guys can see very much, but there's people's driveways, doorways, there's there's lamp posts, there's telephones. There's a lot of stone walls yeah, as well, yeah. A lot of stone walls. So you've got to have big kahunas to to properly race this course. Indeed, yeah. indeed. And if you do decide to come over to the Isle of Man for the TT, then um, yeah, go easy. You might also be wondering why we're sticking behind this uh, Honda HRV, and that's because Rory and his brother Tom are actually in that car. So we need them for filming. So otherwise, we probably would have darted off by now. Whoa. Oh, all and, right. And you stick here. Obviously, this being a bike massive two to three week experience there are some absolutely beautiful bikes yeah. around uh, people's pride and joys ranging from Ducatis, Hondas, KTMs, you name oh, it. That's an R1 there, that was nice. You name it, cross plane crank, R1, everything, nice. they're all here. Oh there's a monkey. Oh my penis is so squashed. Coming in hot to your left. You know what's weird about that bike? It hits a certain frequency because obviously there's no cam chain or cam belt, it's all <laughs> gear driven. But it sounds like a police siren. It goes, woo! <laughs> Do you know what? This might sound really stupid, but the Iron Man is actually a lot bigger than I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whee! You can really lean over on this, it's great. <laughs> it's nice that the roads are opening up a bit now as well. Yeah. Pretty much the first time that we've been for an extended ride. What's uh, what's your bike like? Is it comfortable? It's uh, no. I mean, it's a sports bike. It's it's not particularly comfortable. However, that being said, it is very very smooth. Um, and the acceleration is, is really good. It doesn't really like the slow speeds all that much. It is hot. I mean, it, the fan was pretty much on all through that traffic. How about yours? What do you reckon? Would you would you ride that to work? I could day? ride this. I could ride this really happily. Actually, it's small engine, economical, and yes, it's a sports bike. But I'm not massively let over. It's comfortable enough. Obviously, we've only been riding for about half an hour, but my wrist my wrists aren't completely ruined yet. Like they are on the. Um, Ducati 748, that's just hideous. I've got aftermarket Saito racing rear sets and they, they, they cranked up so my knees can properly get onto the tank of the bike. And that for long journeys, I don't I don't think I could last more than two, three hours on this bike with these sorts of rear sets. Uh, they are very uncomfortable. The suspension is also quite, quite hard. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah mine's quite soft. Well, that's probably because <laughs> my, my shock is almost a bit <laughs> My temps look good. Everything's happy. For a 30 year old bike, I really can't fault it. It's, it's fun, it's light, it's frugal. It looks amazing. It gets so much attention. So many people like just mobile phones out taking pictures. They love it. And the amount of people who've come up to me and said, oh, that was my first bike. I wish I'd never sold it. I think MCN I was reading the other day I gave it four out of five stars. And they, I think they gave it like five out of five for um, reliability as well. Beautiful island. Yeah, look at that. It's massive as well. Who yeah, knew the Isle of Man was this bloody big? <laughs> that is daunting. It's a, a large barrier surrounding a graveyard. Yes. Off 
after a few more miles, we made it to our first stop of the day. The legendary Sound Cafe, or Biker Heaven to you and me. Right, so as you can see, we have just made it to the Sound Cafe for breakfast. Uh, Sound Cafe is in the bottom corner of the Isle of Man. Uh, there's lots of people here for breakfast, actually. And I don't know about you, Gareth, but I've never been in a cafe with a view quite as stunning as this. Yeah, absolutely amazing view. And if you're a bike nut like we are, there's a view plus a view. Welcome to Mecca. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And if you take a little gander around, you can ride a shopping list for your future buying of toys. <laughs> there are every single bike you could possibly imagine in this car park is indeed, incredible. Indeed. So we've tackled some kind of nice little B roads, slow speed, 60 miles an hour, that kind of thing. How's your CBR been? It's been really good. I'm actually really impressed. Three grand bike. Yeah. I, I really like it. Yeah. It, when you get up to speed, it's perfect. Gearbox is slick, smooth, that inline four cylinder, lovely engine, not rackety. And you, are you even listening? Because you're enjoying no, that, this Guinness that Guinness really, cake. Really <laughs> but yeah, great bike. I really enjoy it. How about your one? What do you reckon about that V4ness? It's really good. The engine is fantastic. The brakes I'm getting used to. They're not great, but you yeah, get used to them. You've got to be in that kind of limit. Yeah. But I love the looks and I love, love the fact that when I ride past other bikers, a lot of them just give me a wave, give me a nod because, I mean, look around. There is one, well, there was one CBR 400 here which was the only kind of ilk of this Honda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the rest, you know, they're modern. This is retro vibes, I love it. And yeah, a really, really good start to the day. Also, if you want to come to the Isle of Man, you don't only need to come to the Isle of Man for the TT because the roads here are always going to be the same. So you can save yourself some money and you can ride over the mountain without having all of this traffic. But it's nice that it's here because we love bikes. All Absolutely. of these people love yeah. bikes and yeah. Just, it just feels really good. Well, a good thing to do on a, on a Thursday as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's better than better than any office. Motorbikes, motorbikes, sunshine and sea. And, and, and chocolate Guinness cake for breakfast. Mm. Oh, that is good. You've got to get there. I'm mm. going to wash it down with some tea. Oh, me too. Oh, I have an aphid in my tea. Cheers. Oh, you hear that? With our breakfast cake now eaten, our next stop was to see the boys at the Honda Racing Team for a quick check over our Facebook Marketplace and eBay purchases. I mean, how bad could they be? Right, so as you can see, we are now in the official Honda Race Team garage. And these are the official Honda Race Team mechanics. We've got Scott and we've got Ben here. Uh, Scott, you've actually got one of these. Yeah, I've actually got one of these at home, yeah. But it's in pieces? It's in pieces, yeah. Happy Not because there's anything wrong with it, it was just, I was gonna restore it, but I, I'm so busy. <laughs> okay, is this giving you inspiration to restore yours? Well, all the people looking at this outside and in awe, yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay, definitely. perfect. What these guys are gonna do is have a proper look around both of our bikes and then give us a kind of road worthiness score out of 10 because after this, we are going to be tackling the mountain, going at Mach 10. Not that you can really do that on, on a bike like this. So uh, yeah, the things I know currently is that the rear shock is uh, not very shocky. Okay, and it's the a front, shocking shock. Indeed, and the front brake is not very brakey. But okay. apart from that, she's golden. These notes. are not standard Honda discs. Oh. Aftermarket, we've got a bracket missing on your radiator. Ah, yes, yes. It's kind of holding in there for dear life. I'd probably recommend adjusting the chain. It's, yeah, the very, second, it, very second hand it, chain sprocket kit on here. Oh. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right, yeah, yeah. Just keep it pinned. <laughs> These things are on a cam, so this needs undoing, and then there's a uh, like a, a castellated nut here. You need a special spanner. Might be one in the toolkit. Oh. And then... Uh, Sounds like a job for the Honda Racing Yeah, tour. I mean, while, you, while you're down there, that's <laughs> it. But nothing screams danger no, 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 or... It's, it's actually not, like not so bad, yeah. Good. Fairly good example, I'd say. Fairly good. I thought it was bloody good, but you were saying fairly good now. <laughs> there is some damping in there. <laughs> some. Overall, not bad. Okay, okay. I'd probably give it a eight and a half. Eight and a half? Oh. So that is the uh, official 
Honda Racing Mechanics giving this bike eight and a half. I'm very happy with that. Onto this one. Yeah. No history whatsoever, apart from that it moves. <laughs> no, very, very quickly as well. It moves it quite move. quickly. This thing I, I would say is far from standard. There's lots of uh, bits and pieces that have been bolted on here and changed from original. Like this is this is not an original radiator. Oh, isn't it? Because no. I had to um, glue the mounting bits back on with uh, automotive grade epoxy <laughs> because it was flapping about in the fairing. Yeah, if, if that was uh, on our race bikes, that would be the first thing that riders would complain about. So I'm sensing a lot of Chinese on this mm. bike. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's only three grand. I <laughs> guess, yes. There's a reason. There's a reason. Yeah. I have upgraded the uh, the disc pads in the front to SBS. Oh, RSTs. Okay, yeah. We we run uh, SBS on the race bikes. Race bike. There you go. Race bike, Rory. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Look, look, danger, uh, a, <laughs> danger, uh, yeah. danger zone. Zone. <laughs> Boom. Yeah. Nice. So you've had a look over both bikes now. What's your kind of score out of town for this one? I'd probably be around there, five, five. Oh, oh really? Dear. I'm very much a, a fan of standard on. Un oh, unmolested, unmolested, let's say. Right, okay. Is this thing... It's too much history. Yeah. So I'm going to put this back on Facebook Marketplace. If you want a perfectly good bike that's been checked over by the Honda Racing Team. And given and five and a half. Five and a half grand. Yes. Five and a half grand. Five and a half grand no or five and a half yeah. stand. <laughs> yeah, no warranty given or implied. Uh, so I guess all that's left to say now is thank you very much for checking over our bikes. Enjoy, we are now. Enjoy the Iron Man. Thanks we will much, do. Gents. We are now going really to uh, carefully, you especially, oh, yeah. ride over the mountain. To the mountain. Yeah, right, here we go. This is very, very exciting. Gareth and I are now going on the mountain course. And as you can see, there's codes here that signifies that it's one-way traffic only from now. And then there are no speed limits. You ride as fast as you like. So for this climb, uh, there are a lot of police and apparently they are nicking people going only one or two miles an hour over the limit. They are full force. This is very, very exciting now. So this will be the first time we've actually properly push these bikes so uh yeah on a demanding circuit so yeah baptism of fire i think comes to mind <laughs> my heart's pumping a little bit there are the uh no speed limit signs right here we go no speed limit come on little vehicle and i don't know these roads so i need to be very very careful This is really good. Right. That little bit of a punch. Right, what corner is this? Do we have anything coming up behind us? No, I think we're good. There's cars ahead of us. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That was well over 100 miles an hour. That was, that was well over. I think that was, I think that was about 130. Yeah, I definitely didn't get to that. <laughs> Come on, little vehicle! Come on, little vehicle! Oh, what a red line! Oh, 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 oh. Coming through, everybody. Thank you very much. Here we go. This is amazing. This is diesel. Oh, my little BFR is hesitating. <laughs> oh, this one is filthy. Right, leaned over, leaned over, and power on. I have no idea what this one is like. Or this one. Oh, that's so much fun! This bike is so quick. It's so quick. That's amazing. That's like proper bucket list thing ticked off now. 
Uh, what's the coolest thing you did this week? Oh, you know, I just went on the mountain course, you know, de restricted on the automatic AT. <gasps> How fast did you go? I don't know because I wasn't looking down <laughs> at the desk because I didn't want to die. <laughs> yeah, I reckon probably top speed on about maybe 140, 145. And with that, it was now time to chase the sunset, which meant a fast ride to the top of the island. Right then, so as you can see, we have now made it to our final destination, which is behind us. It is Point of Air Lighthouse. This is in the north of the Isle of Man. Uh, as a quick summary, we have literally just come off the mountain the restricted mountain, the iconic mountain, the mountain where all of the legends, the likes of John McGuinness, will be racing at, you know, 130, 140 miles an hour. And the rest. I and think. the rest, and indeed. The rest. Yeah, and our bikes, our 3,700 pound bike and 3,300 pound bikes have made it all the way here. They've been absolutely faultless. And I know that you've had a lot of fun on yours today. Yeah, absolute blast on the mountain. This thing is lethal, it's so quick and Bang for buck, I think you'll be hard pressed to beat this 1000 cc, 170 brake. It's damn good. It is an absolute weapon. It. Yeah, and you know, fun fact to Gareth was saying, 3000 pounds, you can't get a car that will go as fast as something like this. Yes, you have to do your CBT and get your big body license, but if you're sitting on the fence and you're thinking, oh, you know, I've wanted to do my license for a while, yeah. do it because the adventures that we've been having on our bikes are, you know, top three for me already. If you love raw power, nothing beats yeah. this machine. Yeah. Speaking of raw power, that is what this does not have any of. It's about 60 horsepower, but you know what? I absolutely love it. It's a thrummy little V4, good torque, great looks. I've had so many people asking about it, you know, when we pulled over in petrol station, people yeah, taking yeah. pictures, and the more time and the more hours that I've been spending on this, the more I love it. What can I say? We are on the Isle of Man. The TT is imminent. It's upon us. And we've got so much awesome yeah. viewing and spectating to do. Again, even if the TT wasn't on, go visit the Isle of Man, but especially if you love bikes, if you love combustion, come to the TT. Make sure you check out the next episode, subscribe to the channel as well, because we have got a Isle of Man TT experience coming up next week. It's gonna be epic. We're gonna get right up close to the action. Insert clip. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty wild, wasn't it? <laughs> Again, thank you very much to Honda for inviting us out. Thank you to the Isle of Man for being awesome. And thank you, you guys, for watching. And again, do your bike license because it is totally awesome. And when you've got that far, give my friends B-Moto a call about bike insurance. They're friendly bike enthusiasts themselves and would love to give you a quote. So follow the link below and give them a call. Enjoy the sunset and uh, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you again. Let's go check out that sunset. Mm. Oh, look at it. It's grand. That's I amazing. really like this island. Yeah. The